A function like 1 over x squared can be defined on all of r except at x equals 0. Because at x equals 0 we are dividing by 0, which is not possible. But now we know we can try to get close to 0. So what happens if we try to take the limit x to 0 of this function? That is what you will learn in this video. So we take our function f from r to r, well, it's domain r except 0, f of x equals 1 over x squared. And what happens if we take limit x to 0 of 1 over x squared? We can do this because in the limit we are not actually at equals 0, but we are getting close to x equals 0. And f of x is everywhere defined except at 0, and that's exactly the point where we're not coming. So let's see what's happened. Let's try to make the graph first, and then we can see what happens. Well, over here you see the graph at 1, you are at 1, and then at uh, uh, if x equals 1 over uh, 4, you are f, x, f of x equals 1 over 1 over 4 squared, so that equals uh, 1 over 1 over 16 squared, uh, 16 or 60, so we are already over there. If x, if equals, if x equals 0.25, so if x equals 0.1, you get 1 over 0.1 squared, so 1 over 0.01 or 100, so let's get, uh, will, be, will be much higher, it doesn't fit on the figure anymore. So what happens if we try to take x smaller and smaller, and then we will get higher and higher and higher uh, with f of x, and we can get arbitrarily high with f of x by taking x smaller and smaller and smaller by taking x arbitrarily small. And how do we denote this? Well, that is written like this. Then we write limit x going to a f of x equals infinity. And that means, be careful here, infinity is not a real number. If you write this, what does it mean? Then that means that we can make f of x arbitrarily large and positive if we take x close enough to a. So, and the same similar definition for uh, lim x f of x equals minus infinity, what does that mean? Then we can get uh, f of x arbitrarily small negative by taking x close enough to a. So for example, if we have the function f of x equals minus 1 of x squared, so the same one uh, as this one, but then, then, then with an additional minus sign, so it just flips uh, in the x-axis. If you take x closer and closer to zero, uh, your function values will be uh, very large and negative, and you get, can get them as negative as you want. But there's a big warning sign over here, because with infinity many errors are made. So warning, be careful. Plus and minus infinity are not numbers in R. So sometimes this is limit is written as does not exist, because the outcome is not a number in R. However, we like to be able to make a distinction between functions which go up to plus infinity or going up to minus infinity. So that's why we adopt this convention where we say, well, f of x limit equals infinity. That means that we can f of x arbitrarily large by taking x arbitrarily close to a. So that is what it means. Be very careful with this. With infinity, you cannot do computations like you do with normal numbers in R, always keep in the back of your mind what this means if we write something like this.